Hey y'all, it's Brittany with Brittany's Christians, and I have some Finnabar inspired mini canvases to share with you. I have three of them, and they're priced and ready to go um, for my art show. So that's why you'll see prices on them. Um, so let me show you the first one. Um, here is the first one, and my camera does not want to focus. Um, Is it going to focus now? Okay, there we go. That's good enough for me. So, um, I use vintage book paper from the book Cleopatra. I use my Finnabar waxes on almost everything. Um, this brick pattern that I layered on the book paper is from Saw Crafters. I have this little gold mini frame. I tucked in the hot not Halloween, the Tim Holtz wings. Um, again, use my waxes. I have the mini dolls from Tim Holtz. I added a little crown. She's also holding a little bone in her hand. Then I punched this out um, with one of my butterfly punches on a black glittery paper. And with brave, it says with brave wings, she's flies. And I named this one Olympus. And these I'm pricing um, for $12. Because um, I know a lot of people have been asking about pricing, and I'm going to do a video about pricing. Um, again, I apologize. My hands, I was spray painting. Um, so the next one, which the tag kind of fell off of, but I'll stick it back on. So this one, I used a stencil and did some texture paste and a damask pattern, and I painted it like purpley, and then I used my waxes. I have Tim Holtz corners on here. Um, this piece I got at Hobby Lobby, it was a jewelry piece. Um, and then I have these flowers, these are from Recollections. And it says, a glimpse of heaven, I know that I am home. And this says, home is heaven is what it's called. And again, these are $12. And again, I signed and named everything on the back. And then, um, the last one that I did in this specific size, which it looks like it's, I guess I would say two inches by four inches, two by four. Um, this one is called Curious Looking. And um, basically what I did with this one is I put down a bunch of texture paste and I put down some gauze and um, put down, um, the small be um, the small texture beads and the large texture stones from Prima Marketing from Finnabar, and then these are seed um, like seed beads uh, in a teal color that I added on top as well. I used the rust texture paste for the mermaid. I got these off of Amazon. These steampunk mermaids, and then this is a Kaiser Craft um, wooden uh, seashell. And I basically just sprayed everything with Lindy's, painted with my different paste and paints and stuff from Finnabar. Um, I got the rust effect from using Miranda's technique by using alcohol ink and spraying it with water. That's how you get this rusted look. Um, and again, I added these are from Finnabar, the rusted um, steampunk gears, and it says curious looking because she has her hand um, reaching out with a gear on it so kind of like she's reaching for another little finding kind of like it's like a steam I was kind of going for like a steampunk version of Ariel um, you know how she always collects all the different things so you know how steampunk people they collect all the different gears and parts so that's kind of what I was going for so let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to y'all soon bye